here's a video about the Unimblock feedback module 63320. Uh, I just want to talk you through the connection and the setup of this module. So if we take it out of the box, we've got a low connect cable and feedback module here. Uh, this is a two rail version. Um, this is item number 63320. It monitors eight feedback sections. Um, to connect it up we use the left low connect feed and then into the back of our own tele box. Each uh, module um, needs its own identity address so um, to do that we have to go to the IntelliBox 2 which is what we're connected up to today. If I zoom in you can see um, first press mode and then up comes this screen. Now because it's a LocoNet device we can use LocoNet programming so if I go into LocoNet programming um, then we want to go to part number and the part number of this item is 63320 enter. <coughs> if we then go to module number because it's the only one device we've got connected via LocoNet here if we type in 65535, it comes up broadcast. Now it's broadcasting a signal to the feedback module we've connected. So if I press program mode on, it now reads back all the CVs um, settings of that module. And the first thing we have to set is the module address. So that's LocoNet CV0. And because it's going to be our first one, because we've only got one connected, we want a value of one. So he's now got an address of one. So that module's one. So if you had a, if it was your tenth uh, module you needed to connect up, you put value ten enter in there and then program it in. But we want value one. Uh, so if I then press program, um, the module address is set. Now all the feedback outputs from the module need to have an address. Um, if it's your first module like this one you can either do it from 0 to 7 or 1 to 8. It's totally up to you. So if we go LocoNet CV1 because that is the output addresses and we change that to a value of 1 enter and then program. Now the outputs are addressed 1 to 8. If you want to, if it was your second module you would type in a value of 9 in there and then it would be 9 and it would be the next 8 on from that and so on. Uh, that is actually now programmed. Uh, you can connect it up to the layout now. Um, all, all you have to do, I'll just go over to the module here, it says Digi Sprug. There, that needs to go to the track power output on the back of the IntelliBox 2 and then you have to connect up GLICE 1 to 8 to your feedback sections. Um, it's on the one side of the track, either the left rail or the right. You have to choose to start with and keep it the same. Um, and then each left rail of the section you're monitoring, that is the track feed from the module to the track. When the loco then comes into the section, when it's running, uh, it notices current draw through the track rail that the feedback module is connected to so that's how the feedback module works it's all to do with current draw um, i hope this has been helpful any questions please email me or give us a call uh, many thanks